Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop to do a video that I have not done in quite some time now. And that's an old school traditional tabletop EDC pocket dump video. And uh, it's going to be one of two videos. This one is going to be my on-body EDC. And then you guys know that I carry an EDC bag with me everywhere I go. And so the second video in this series, or it's, I guess it's not really a series because it's only two videos long, but... Part one and part two. Uh, part two is going to be my EDC bag and what I keep in there. And some stuff has been added, some stuff has been taken away, and some things have changed, so that'll be cool. And same goes for my on-body EDC. If you guys are new uh, to this, EDC is everyday carry, not a shitty music festival with terrible music. That being said, everybody has an EDC, whether you're a gun or a knife person or not. You probably got your car keys in your pocket, your phone, your wallet. You know, whatever it is, ladies have their purse with a bunch of junk in there that they might need every single day of their lives. So it's the same concept. And um, preparedness, survivalist, prepper, um, you know, gun dude, knife dude, we tend to have one that looks something like this. Now, mine's a little bit more than most people's. There's people that carry even more stuff than me, okay? Um, they're probably all most likely TNPers, but anyway... That being said, let's quit talking and dive right into it, people. So, on my body, what do I carry? Okay, wallet. Simple stuff, right? I'm going to start with the stuff that normal people might have. Because um, I guess I'm not normal, apparently. But wallet. This one happens to be a special operations equipment, um, Typhon and Red Thread. And it's awesome. I've had this for a while now. I use it every single day. Got that sweet Boba Fett patch on there. Shout out to Boba Fett, dude. One of the greatest characters in Star Wars ever. Changed my mind. Um, but this thing holds up. It's well worth the money that I spent on it. I think it was like 40 bucks or less. And uh, it's awesome. And it's individual. You know, you can have it any way that you want. So wallet. That's something everybody carries, right? Wallet, purse, same difference. Everybody's got one of those. Uh, what else might someone else have? Keys, okay? Now my keys have paracord on them because you can never have too much of that stuff you know different keys for different things um my victorinox classic sd okay scissors file little screwdriver toothpick it had tweezers but i lost them which is a pretty common problem on things like this knife little pen blade um useful little tool especially for its size gets a lot of work done gets a lot of use every single day um i've got my backup gun this is my Glock 17 Gen 5 backup gun. I do have that with me at all times. And then I've got this little Olight, uh, the copper I3 EOS or whatever it's called. And uh, it's a good little keychain light. It's cool. It's copper. It's tarnished. It's faded. But it comes in handy. That gets a lot of use too. So there's keys. Normal, everyday person stuff, right? What else might you have? A pen. Okay, pen is mightier than sword, depending on the application. But I like a nice writing pen. I got a bunch of like custom pens and, and higher end pens and stuff like that. But I do a lot of paperwork at work, working in a gun shop, filling out 4473s all day. So having a nice writing pen um, makes that experience better. Also, I like a metal pen so you can use it as a defensive tool if need be, throat, you know, eyes, face, whatever, temple, um, any, you are the weapon, you know, what's in your hand is merely just a tool type of thing, um, so a nice sturdy pen, something that writes nice, and uh, again, normal day stuff, writing, you know, your name, filling out forms, um, signing checks, whatever you got to do, you know, doodling because you're bored at school or work and you really should be doing something productive, whatever you got to do, um, pen, Okay, normal person stuff, got it all the time, useful in a lot more ways than you would think. Um, what else? What else could be normal? Let's take a look at this. Lighter. Bic lighter. Even if you don't smoke, it's an excellent idea to have one, but primarily it's going to be people that smoke. Um, no matter what they smoke, they're going to need a lighter. So, cheap, inexpensive easy to obtain okay they're also extremely easy to lose so i prefer the uh, higher vis colors this one just happens to be black but start a fire light a cigarette start the grill light a candle whatever you got to do lighter okay it's handy it's lightweight million and one you know purposes and and then what else what else is normal okay chapstick ubiquitous chapstick everybody's got chapstick in their pockets their purse okay in the car in the center council because it gets cold places. You get chapped lips places. Maybe it's dry heat. Who knows? But chapstick, people. Also, wide variety of fire starting and medical purposes. 
that can be used or that can this that this can be used on. Um, so why not have it? Why not have it? And that's the whole thing. I want people to get more used to carrying useful stuff because to most people that I see coming into the gun shop, um, this is like they're not carrying this unless they have a backpack. And when they have the backpack, they're not going to bring it because they don't need it because it's not the bad part of town because it's I'm just going to the gas station. Um, this is easy. This is a lot easier. And maybe I'll do a video of like actually on my person and showing you guys where I place everything if you're that interested about it. But this is easy to carry this much stuff. And to a lot of people, this is a lot. Okay, so that's I'm trying to break that norm. Uh, you guys want to be prepared. Okay, that's rather have it and not need it type of thing. So getting on to some stuff that you could potentially have depending on your job what you do what you're into your hobbies um but still not even be a gun person flashlights okay useful stuff this is the Streamlight micro stream it is re uh, usb rechargeable this is awesome because micro usbs are super common and you can just plug it in whenever recharge the light um it's momentary or you can click for constant if you double click, it gets brighter and lumens. So there's regular. And then if you double click, it gets brighter. Um, for the size and utility of this light, I highly recommend it. It's absolutely awesome uh, with output and battery life and the fact that you can recharge it. And uh, so all day long. But maybe you're a mechanic. Maybe you're a doctor. Maybe you're just whatever. And uh, maybe you're afraid of the dark. Who knows? And uh, just a normal person, don't even like guns, don't even like knives, none of that. This is a tool. You can also use it as an impact device. This is aircraft grade aluminum. Um, choke back on that, hit somebody, pressure points, temple, eyes, throat, whatever. It could be defensive. Also just seeing the bad guy can help out a lot. Flashlight, super easy stuff. Here's another flashlight. Maybe you're, you know, you're a big operator dude and you're, you're on the job or whatever it is. Okay, bigger flashlight. Or you could just carry one flashlight and it just happens to be this size instead of a little one. Maybe you need a little bit more output. Again, this is the Surefire EDC L uh, 2-T Excellent Light. This is my fighting light, and uh, it's set up for momentary only, uh, which for a fighting light is appropriate, a defensive light. It also has shock cord on it, so I can do one of these things, okay, and retain the light, still use the light, work on myself or someone else medically, reload a gun, do what I have to do, and not lose my light. So, plus again defensive strikes you know either side it's solid aluminum uh this is going to hurt somebody if you hit them with it in the right space so again multi-function multi-function this one specifically it's got a moonlight mode and then it's 1200 lumens super bright a lot of throw excellent hot spot high quality light worth the money a little bit more expensive than a stream light a lot more expensive than some o lights or some other stuff out there uh through nights phoenix whatever but surefire is where it's at in my opinion they are the most proven and time tested and uh, i think they make the best stuff on the market as far as a flashlight goes uh stream light would be my second choice anyway Moving on from that, now we're starting to step into a little bit not so normal because even dudes that work, okay, on the job, construction, you know, maybe they're doing flooring, whatever it is, a lot of them, they might have a box cutter in their toolkit, but a lot of them don't have a pocket knife. This is the Microtech LUDT, it's an automatic. This is what I've been carrying as my main cardboard killer lately, okay? That stands for Large Underwater Demolition Team. This knife actually has an NSN number and was issued to Navy divers. Um, it's the two-tone one, automatic. Had a lanyard on it, but it fell off. Nice, nice pocket clip. Uh, really, really secure. Uh, this thing is razor, razor freaking sharp. Okay, there's that. Let's see if I could... Got a little paper here. It's a little uh, quick. Because a, a sharp knife is a safe knife. Okay, so there, that's sharp, uh, as it should be. But excellent knife, uh, strong knife, durable. Action is, is super thwacky on it. Um, nice spraying, bam, just awesome. And obviously this can be used for opening letters and cutting down cardboard and the string off your shirt, but this can also be used defensively. And, uh, you know, it's an auto, so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a weak flick. You just hit that button and you're in it. And um, knife, one of the if not the oldest tools known to man uh, obviously they got some cool new versions of uh, sharpened rock but this is where it's at people love microtech 
This is my pocket knife, okay? Furthermore than that. Also, I forgot this. This is my stupid ass little jewel. It's the Caliburn or Caliburn, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, this stops me from smoking cigarettes, which is good. I'm still addicted to nicotine, I suppose, but this is healthier. Um, at least that's what they say. And uh, this thing, I've dropped it. You guys see it's got all types of wear and stuff on it. I've dropped it a few times. It holds up. It's, it doesn't leak. The coils last forever. Uh, check them out if you are into that kind of thing. So that, that's a normal. That's actually some would consider this abnormal as to uh, the kind of people that have these in their pockets. But who knows? Who knows, people? I don't know. Next up. This is the Bassinelli Picor, okay, and it's got like a little Alti Clip style Kydex sheath. It's a fixed blade. This is the half of the scissors, kind of little scalpel thing. Um, I like knives, for one. I use knives all the time, every single day of my life. And uh, hopefully I never have to use these kinds of knives, but I have them just in case, okay? So this is a defensive only blade when I carry it. I'm not going to cut the string off my shirt with this. I'm not going to cut, you know, cheesecake in the break room at work. I'm not going to cut a cardboard box or any tape. This is only going to slice flesh against people that mean to do me or my family or my loved ones harm. This is a defensive tool. Um, and it's extremely sharp and extremely pointy. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. I'm not Doug Markaita, but this will cut, okay? Um, the other nice thing about knives too, because you know, we'll get to this in a second, these never run out of bullets, okay? And if you have a lot of them, then you can do some pretty serious damage. And uh, the damage that's done is usually pretty permanent, like Clint Smith would say. So some knives, not a half bad idea. Um, speaking to the gun, we have the 642, okay, Smith & Wesson, airweight, J-frame revolver, Centennial model, internal hammer. Uh, when you're running a wheel gun in a fight, it should be double action only. I have the Hogue mono grip on this gun. For me, bigger hands, I get a better grip. It backs me off the tang, so I got better um, felt recoil, and you don't get your, your knuckle busted. You know, that's why people used to put Tyler T's on their guns and stuff, because I'm running plus P's in this gun. It is the Hornady Critical Defense, or whatever it is, um, 135 grain. I do believe they print pretty good. They, they group really well. I know they're probably not the best hollow point. Um, traditionally, I run Rangers in my snubs, but they work. They shoot good. Um, I got the gun zeroed in for that load at a certain distance. And you're like, oh, zeroed in. Um, it's fixed sights. You can't even zero that gun. Well, you can shoot a load and find out where it prints and then at what distance. And then you know you're zero, I guess, technically. But snub nose Revolver, very underrated. Definitely more of an expert's gun. I am a, not an expert by any means, but I do practice with this. I train with this. I train the reloads. Um, which, speaking of that, I carry two, uh, if not more, HKS 36A speed loaders uh, with the same ammo, either on a pouch or loose in my pocket. Typically loose in my pocket of my cargo shorts, which are LA police gear, which I wear those all the time. Well worth the money. Um, anyway, snub. Been getting it done for years. Excellent gun. Contact, hit, contact hits. You don't have to worry about it getting out of battery. Um, typically, you got five for sure. Yeah, it's low capacity, but how many extended gun fights do you plan on getting in? I don't know. There's arguments on uh, both sides of the table, you know, to carry or not carry a gun like this. But it works well for me. I'm old school. I just get a kick out of it. Um, shoots great. I train with it. I can shoot it well. And it carries really, really nice. Speaking of how it carries, it's always riding in the Harry's Holster Icon rig, okay? Best Kydex rig on the market for a snub nose Smith. Uh, the clip is amazing. I've bent this clip or snagged, not bent it, but I've snagged it on things multiple times. It has yet to bend. Um, perfect retention, adjustable retention on the holster. Um, this one is multicam black that he made special for me, and it's awesome. I love it, and it's super comfortable, super concealable, and uh, you get that perfect high tang grip out of the holster, and uh, it just it works great. Loving that. Absolutely loving that. So I'm still carrying the Smith Snubby, guys. Um, not much has changed. I'm a simple dude. You know, sometimes, depending on what's going on, like when the riots were first kicking off, not that long ago, I was carrying a Glock 17 every day, uh, backed up by two mags on my person, and then three to four, I can't remember, 33 rounders in the backpack. You know, just because. A lot of bodies. A lot of bodies in a riot. And um, 
maybe you need a little bit more ammo. But day to day, five shot snub for me is perfectly fine. Um, also carry the right in the rain notepad. Not going to show you all my dirty little secrets. Um, but right in the rain notepad, which obviously you can write in the rain with. Um, very durable, is not affected by moisture, obviously, if you could write in the rain with it. Uh, so keeping that, you know, tucked in with my wallet on my butt cheek on a hot summer sweaty day uh, isn't going to bother it. And if I need to leave a note, take a note, whatever, jot down your mother's phone number, I can do that. Um, what else do I got? What else do I got? Another Bassinelli. This is the Mako folder. It's a folding karambit. Okay, this is carried in my back pocket. And again, I think I will do a video uh, on body actually showing you guys how I, I carry this stuff, how well it hides, how easy it is to conceal stuff on your person. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll do that. If there's interest, let me know in the comment section below. But folding karambit. A lot of people don't like the idea of a folding karambit, especially a liner lock. I've had no lock failures with this. I've actually stuck it into some pretty serious stuff. Uh, I've cut a lot of stuff with it. Extremely ergonomic, very, very sharp. And uh, you got the retention with the karambit ring. So it can't be taken away from you. You know, you can kind of let go and do stuff and then still retain the knife. And um, the deployment of the wave feature patented by Ernie Emerson, um, when you pull this out of your pocket with the ring, it's going to catch on the edge and deploy the knife. So when you pull this out of your pocket, it's already deployed and ready to go. So yes, it is a folder, but it's very quick into action. It's strong and sturdy from everything that I've experienced with it. You guys see that it's, it gets a lot of wear from carry. I carry it all the time, every single day. So this thing has been used, okay, and, uh, and tested, and it works. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and two, that's, you'll see in the other video, but... These are placed all around my body in different positions, so I can get to them right or left-handed. Um, they hide a certain way, whether I'm on the ground fighting, you know, I'm on my right side, my left side, I'm on my back, I'm on my stomach. I can get to one or two knives at all times, no matter what position I'm in, which is extremely helpful depending on the situation. So, what else do I got? Uh, I think that's all that I got on the table so far, but... Let's not forget, I do run the K-Bar TDI in an NSR tactical sheath. This is the fully serrated one, okay? Got some teeth in there. Again, another emergency defensive knife, fixed blade. Um, running that in the Kydex sheath appendix. Okay, here is the front of uh, my very, very well-loved SOE EDC low profile vid uh, video, low profile video, low profile belt um, being the star of this current video and the G-hook and all that stuff. And so these are LA Police Gear um, shorts, reinforced pockets, rip stop, quick dry, all that stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm always rocking the SOE belt. This is always rocking appendix. Again, another knife that I could cut myself out of a car wreck. I could cut myself out of a bad guy. Always rocking a G-Shock because it tells the time like I need it to and it's durable, it's functional, it's waterproof. I don't have to worry about smashing it on stuff while I'm at work and ruining a nice watch. And then I always have my paracord bracelet, which had a functioning compass on there, but then it broke. Uh, wasn't the most accurate, but it's better than nothing. And then it also does have a whistle, which is pretty loud. So, okay, I tried to be quiet. But whistle, that's a functional thing, signaling device. It also has a fire starter built in. If I can get it to spark on camera, probably not. Oh, got a little spark. You guys are probably like, what is this idiot doing? Anyway, it works, I promise you. Yeah, I promise you it works. Um, and then you got paracord too. And plus it's just whatever, gun guy shit. I guess we all wear paracord bracelets. But I like mine to at least be functional. I'm looking into getting one of those um, uh, super s -E ones. I, I don't even know if that's how you how you pronounce it, but they got a bunch of stuff in there. Escape and Evasion, they got different kits. I want to get one of those because um, that's more like the real deal. But anyway rambling on this is just part one it's already 20 minutes long damn it um but yeah this is my on body edc and then part two is going to be everything in my edc bag it's a tactical tailor uh mil spec monkey collaboration the adapt pack it's awesome um got a bunch of cool stuff in there so stay tuned for that and then uh i'll do another video showing the stuff on my person in different ways of carry and different ways you know how if i was running a spare gun in the in the backpack how to draw out of the thing so we'll do it uh we'll get to it and that being said thank you so much for watching guys please remember to like share comment subscribe let me know what you think about the edc and uh, what yours is check those first three links in the description box below
so you can fight for your ever important gun rights people please please do that if you get anything out of this video do that and then furthermore if you want to help support the channel click the other links in the description box below shop with them i get a little bit of a commission that all goes directly back into the channel to do better and more content for you guys and all that being said thank you so much for watching hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and i'll see you on the next one peace